A very good afternoon to one and all and thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on acne vulgaris and its treatment. Acne is also called as pimples in local language. So to begin with, initially we must know the occurrence rate of acne. So the occurrence of acne is as big as 85% in young people. Also the age of onset varies from puberty to the age of 25 years. Along with it, it is also seen that acne is more severe in males as compared to their counterparts. While treating acne, we must keep a note of race and genetics also in our mind. For the ease of treatment, we divide acne into three categories, mild, moderate and severe. Also, it is a good idea to keep a note on the site of prediction, this means whether the acne is only on the face, trunk, upper arms or on the body. Now, for the treatment of mild acne, we don't have to do too many things as far as oral medications are concerned. We restrict ourselves to only topicals in form of antibiotics or anti-acne measures like benzyl peroxide and topical retinoids. In moderate acne, we may add up some oral antibiotics as per requirement. So you may have options of topical doxycycline or minocycline depending upon the requirement along with the topical treatment. The severe acne definitely would have an option of isotretinoin for its treatment. Here we must keep in mind that acne is a multifactorial condition. So while treatment along with the severity and the area of prediction we must keep in mind some associations, example whether any endocrinological association, any gynec component, any history of topical steroid application, drug intake, cosmetic usage, weather conditions, so on and so forth. So in all, the treatment of acne requires a good history and apart from that, we must make sure that the triggers are also taken care of. So here, I would like to end my topic. I hope it is useful for all. To book an appointment with a cosmetologist or a dermatologist in your area, please visit www.skinandhairacademy.in.